Howdy, my name is Sarah from Ontario, and here are my answers to the ladies' survey. Uh, question one, who is your favorite female YouTuber? Well, there's going to be some repeats here. Obviously, you guys. I would say Sarcastrix, but Sarcastrix seems to be dead. Uh, but they're still uploading on their personal channels, so check out all of them. Emily of New Gloom. And to add two to that, um, Nerds RL and Silly Sparrowness. Question two, who are your favorite female athletes? I honestly not only don't have a favorite one, I can't even name one. I just don't follow sports. On the other hand, I can't name any male athletes who I enjoy either, so yeah. Question three, who, what is your favorite book written by a female protagonist? Uh, no, written by a female with a female protagonist. Uh, Anne of Green Gables. What is your favorite film written by a female with a female protagonist? Uh, like Katie, who you'll hear from tomorrow. I had some trouble with this one because I don't really have favorite films, much less really know who writes them or makes them. Uh, but I did come up with Mean Girls. Number five, who's your favorite female fictional character? So hard, guys. So many, so many good ones. Um, but I'm gonna go with Viola from Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. Number six, what is the biggest problem facing female creators today? and any solution. Um, I think the biggest problem is that we still have to call them female creators, that they do. We still have this separate category of feminine problems that are separate from normal, aka male creators. And I mean, that's true of any minority group. Whenever there's um, an ethnic minority or a sexual minority or anything like that that comes up, that plays into what they create and who they are. Um, yeah, who their public image is, and I just don't know if I have any solutions because I don't know if that's ever gonna go away. Question seven, do you think YouTube and online video in general are better or worse suited than television for tackling the problems and prejudices women face in the workplace? I have a bit of a different opinion here. I actually think television is the better medium uh, for tackling these issues uh, because it's a mass media that hits a lot more people um, and is a conversation creator, if that makes sense. Like, I know it's not as much in front of the water coolers it used to be, but uh, it's what people talk about, it's what people let into their homes uh, day in, every week. And so I think if uh, the message can get onto television, television as a medium is much better suited. Uh, for changing general opinion and getting people thinking and talking about these things. Um, I love that it's discussed on online video, but I think online video is still so much of a niche compared to television um, that the people watching it and talking it are uh, confined here as opposed to television, which is big. I do agree that there's a lot of gatekeepers on television and you have to really combat to get it out there, but um, I think if we push enough and if enough uh, women and women supporters get into that field, uh, then things can start changing. Question eight. What do you pledge to do to make the internet a better environment for all creators? Um, I feel like I'm pretty respectful in general, so what I plan to do that's different, I pledge to comment more. Uh, on as many, whenever I watch a video as much as I can, because I tend to watch it and consume it, but don't really contributes to the conversation. Question nine, tell us a secret story, whatever, featuring woman. So two things you should know. One, I don't get hit on a lot, which I think is a good thing because it seems kind of degrading and like an awkward situation. And two, I have trouble ignoring people or walking away from conversations from random strangers on the street who talk to me. Um, so one of the few times I have been hit on was when I was in Winnipeg uh, quite a few years back. Um, and I was with some friends, we were at the zoo, and I was looking at some animals there, and then this old man with balding, thinning hair, uh, n almost no teeth, and what he had, he had two front teeth that were yellowing, came up to me and was like, oh, those are some nice meerkats there. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're kind of cute. I like them. So, are you here with anyone? Yeah, my friends, they're like right, right over there. Oh. Are you married? No, I'm 16. I think I'm gonna go now. Bye. Number 10. Tag people. Tag. You're it. Katie, I've already seen your video, but I look forward for everyone else seeing it tomorrow. Bye.